Now a Northern Kentucky University professor is looking into the connection between alcohol and energy drinks. One of our digital contributors, Christine Charlson, reports on this for WCPO.com. And Christine, you recently talked with someone who's been researching this for about a decade. Let's just cut to the chase. Good or bad for you? Bad. 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 Not a good thing. Don't mix the two. And, and what's the main reason why that we shouldn't be drinking alcohol and energy drinks at the same time? Well, when I spoke with Dr. Cecile Marchinsky, uh, she's an associate professor at Northern Kentucky University, um, the number one reason is the caffeine uh, shuts down the ability for our brain to recognize that we're intoxicated. So even though we may have had far too much to drink, we never get that signal that tells us like, hey, stop drinking. Normally what will happen when we're intoxicated is we get drowsy, we get tired, um, you know, we get lethargic, we even pass out sometimes. but when we send that energy drink in there, it, it stops that signal. So we never know, like, hey, it's time to stop drinking. And how about energy drinks alone without the alcohol? Have, has she done any research on that? And, and is that safe for us? Well, she has. And um, oddly enough, um, maybe, maybe not. It, uh, it really depends. Uh, she said they studied using five-hour energy, energy drink, and even one five-hour energy drink can make your blood pressure soar, meaning that if you have hypertension already uh, and you have an undiagnosed condition, maybe you know an undiagnosed heart condition, you can end up with a cardiac uh, problem or issue pretty quickly. And I know a lot of people go to the vodka and Red Bull as their go-to drink, but what about regular soda, like a bourbon and Coke? Is that just as bad? Because Coke obviously has caffeine as well. No, no, it's, it's completely different. The, uh, the amount of caffeine in the energy drinks is so much greater. And because it's so much greater, according to Dr. Marchinsky, um, the studies show that it stimulates our brain, which actually makes us want to drink more and more of it because it's an enjoyable experience. The problem is uh, the fact we don't know we're intoxicated because we feel alert, we feel awake, and then that's going to lead to risky behavior. Like we feel so wide awake, we're going to get behind the wheel of our car. So not a good thing. Yeah, and we all know that can lead to disaster. Christine Charlson, thanks so much for joining us. And you can check out Christine Charlson's entire interview with that NKU professor on our website, WCPO.com. Check out those nine questions and read for yourself exactly why you shouldn't be doing it.